Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can make API with the delete method in Laravel. So first of all, we will make a function in controller file. After that, we will define route for delete method in api.php file in route folder. Then we have to write some code for delete API. We'll test this API with the Thunder client. And at last we will verify the database table like data is deleted or not because delete method is only to delete the record from the database. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right, so now let's move on the code. And first of all, let's go to the controller file and file and define a one more function. So I'm making one more function there. Function name, you can put anything. I will just put there delete student. And there we will get the data from the, you can say that uh, uh, URL param. So we don't need to put their uh, request uh, parameter of the request class. We can directly put their ID. And for a moment to test the route, like this is working fine or not, let's return the ID only there. And now let's go to the api.php file and define the route for delete method. We have to use their delete method, then delete student that will be the path and as I told you we will get the ID because we need a ID to delete the record because without ID we cannot identify which record we have to delete so that will also come in the URL so where we'll use this braces like ID this so that the second parameter will be dynamic there then use their student controller and that must be inside the first parameter of array class and the second one we can define there delete student like this all right okay so next thing what we can do there we can uh, test this uh, route and this delete function with the thunder client so let me define a new request and there first you have to select the delete method then route that will be localhost api till api the route will be the same as previous apis and now you can verify this route and or you can just copy and paste this and as i told you the id will be dynamic there so you can choose any of these ids for example you want to delete the bruce with the id 35 so what you simply can do just put there 35 so right now it will not delete but it will return the id in the response here you can see that we are getting the id same so let's say if i'm just putting there 100 we are getting the 100 as the return perfect so the next thing what we need to do you can simply uh, define a function with the name of student then use student model colon colon destroy and there we can simply pass this id and after that we can check if condition if dollar student is true that means uh, record is deleted and in the array you can say that result and there we can say that student record deleted Okay, so we have to use their arrow. Copy this and let's make else condition. If student is not true there, that means data is not deleted, then we can mention they are not deleted. Now let's test it. So as you can see, we want to delete their uh, record 35 from there. So what we can simply do there, go to the new request, pass 35 there, click on the send. Here you can see that student record deleted. If I refresh it, now you can see that 35 record is deleted. But if I try to delete it again, you can see that student record not deleted because the record is already deleted, right? So that's how you can uh, make API with the delete method. And if you still have any confusion, any question, you can ask me in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video, share your feedback in comment section. Thank you guys.